What's going on my peoples? Welcome back to the channel and today I want to keep talking about hot toys because I am obsessed with the things. And today I already made two lists. One list is for the to hot toys that I want that we're not getting. The other one is for the hot toys that I want that we are probably getting. And today's list I didn't know what to do so I'm gonna let you decide. Are we getting these hot toys or not? Let me know for each of these of the ones that you're interested in, let me know below because I want to know what do you think about this and I'm gonna give you my opinions on the matters as well and the hot toys that we might or might not be getting that I really want to have are the number 10 is Ulysses Claw and we all know the Andy Serkins is playing Ulysses Claw and the MCU and he did a fantastic job in Avenger Age of Ultron. He's a great actor, director, everything he does is just freaking amazing. Love the guy on Gollum, on Caesar. I mean, the, the, the work in Caesar, if you haven't seen the last uh, Planet of the Aim movies, you have to see it. It's just freaking unbelievable. And I cannot wait for to see him on Black Panther. And I think, he, unfortunately, I think it's going to be a small role in Black Panther. Maybe not. Maybe he has a bigger role. But I think it's going to be a small role. So, but I would love to see him. I would love to see him with his claw. Finally. I would like to see his claw. How they're going to do it. And uh, I would also like to have him in my collection. Can you guys imagine having a Nandy Serkins? Uh, Ulysses Claw in your collection that would be freaking amazing unfortunately I am gonna give you my opinion on this I do not think we are getting this guy so yeah so but let me know what do you think are we getting him now in the future I would love to have him though I think he's an amazing actor and he will be a super cool uh, figure to have but you know hot toys and villains uh, that don't mix all too well so unfortunately I don't think we're gonna have them in our collections so moving on to number nine and number nine is going to be Goliath and if you don't know Ant-Man in the Wasp is coming and Lauren Fishburne is gonna be playing Goliath and this caught me out of surprise completely and uh, I think Lauren Fishburne is a little bit too old to be playing Goliath, but whatever. He's already Goliath, so there's no way we can change that. I would love to be a uh, much younger guy, so we can keep having him in more movies repeatedly. And somebody with uh, in better shape, you know, like maybe somebody else can I take the persona of Goliath uh, later down the road. And he's starting out with that. And... Yeah, hopefully that is the case because I really would love to have a freaking amazing Goliath figure on my collection. And uh, unfortunately, this is another one that I don't think we're going to get. I think he, we might, we might not. I don't know what to tell you. It, this is a tough, this, this list is going to be tough, honestly. What do you think? Are we getting a Goliath? Do you like a Goliath on your collection? Let me know below because I I would love to have a Goliath. And Lyron Fishburne, he's a great actor. He was in The Matrix and we everybody loves him. And I would love to have a figure with his likeness on. Especially if it's a Goliath figure. But let me know below. So he's my number 9. Coming to number 8, we have Valkyrie. And yes, we know the Valkyrie has been announced. It has been teased. It has been showed. It hasn't been announced yet officially by Hot Toys. But it has been announced on this outfit that we see here. And to be honest, she kind of look like she's from Wakanda more than she is from... Uh, Good God, good God, I forgot Thor's home from Asgard. Uh, she looks from, more from Wakanda than from Asgard. So, and they, they Hot Toys, they, they released the, the, uh, the figure and it's up to this likeness. And I will get that figure. I will get this figure. If 
and only if Hot Toys doesn't release this one. This is how I want her to look in my collection. With that white outfit, the hair is completely loose, no tribally things going on on her face. You know, looking goddess, that's how I want her to look. I think she looks brilliantly super cool in this outfit. The blue cape on the back of the white with the gold. I think she looks beautiful in this outfit. And this is the outfit that we that I want to get. So here's the question for you. Are we getting her in this outfit? Are we getting her in the other outfit? I think we will. We we have seen the face sculpt. It is freaking amazing. It looks incredible, the, uh, the face sculpt for the other outfit. But this is the one that I want. Are we getting this one? What do you guys think? Let me know below. I really, really want this one. If we're not getting this one, I am getting the other one for sure. Because I need a, a Valkyrie in my collection. I really do. But if I had to pick between this one and the other one, I would definitely go for this one. So yeah. Look at that. On Pegasus. It looks super badass. Alright. So coming down to number seven. And at number seven we have Ghost. Going back to Ant-Man and the Wasp. Ghost is going to be the villain on Ant-Man and the West. And he's not the main villain. He's gonna at least he's gonna be in it. So I would love for Hatois to do a figure of Ghost. It shouldn't be that difficult. I mean the guy is not that complicated. Look at the outfit, it's very simple. And there is another thing that we have going on with Ghost. This time around, if you have seen the pictures from the set, it's a girl. Ghost is a girl in Ant-Man in the Wasp. And that is really, really, really cool. I would love to have a girl ghost in my collection. And I'm really excited for that. Hopefully, Hot Toys doesn't let us... Uh, down with this one but you know the history with um, hot toys and villains is not very good is it and Eminem and the Wasp is following the whopping everybody's in it movie from the Infinity Wars so they're gonna have their hands very busy producing uh, figures for that movie so I I think it's very not likely that we're gonna get this figure but I would love to have it I would love to have this rendition of Ghost in my collection. Boo! How cool is that? And yeah, that is why Ghost is my number seven. And number six, we have no other than Domino. We all know that Deadpool 2 is coming. Domino is going to be in it. It's being uh, portrayed by Sensi Beats. They alternated the colors of her skin and uh, the eye patch that she has. I think it's pretty good. I, I think she looks very uh, very sexy in it. I don't mind it at all. People are always talking trash about you know stuff they shouldn't do. I think she's gonna be great as Domino, and it's gonna bring um, you know like something different to the table I like they always just you know like the same character over and over I like to see characters reimagine and I think she's gonna do a fantastic job I, I think she looks very sexy and I cannot wait to see the movie and I would love to have a Domino figure in my collection from Deadpool 2 and there we have her in the motorcycle and I love motorcycles. No, hold on a second. Something doesn't look right here. Oh, that there she is. That's the one. That is the one that I want to have in my collection. What do you guys think? Are we getting another Deadpool? Are we getting Cable and Domino? All those three out of this movie? Are we that lucky? I think we will. I think we're going to get Domino. And I cannot wait for her because I am getting her in my collection. Hopefully. So, moving on to number five. And this is danger territory because my number five is Carnage. 
Now look at this image. <laughs> Do you think we can get a Hot Toys made out of this? This is like super complicated. There is no way that Hot Toys can do something like this, or they ever will. But there are hopefully we have alternatives to this. And uh, I, another thing, I'm talking about Carnage because, as you all know, uh, we're getting a movie. Tom Hardy is going to be playing Venom, and they say rumor says that Carnage is going to be in that movie. Either that or uh, Silver and Black. He's around the corner, and there are talks about that, and I cannot wait to see a proper carnage, or any carnage for that matter, but I want a proper one on the screen. And if he comes out, and he's great, I want a figure. And hopefully, Hot Toys will deliver that. And maybe we don't get something like this, which is like ridiculously detailed, and nearly impossible to bring into a figure form, but we can get something minor like this like like crude for example they had like literal you know like little branches coming out of his uh, overall plastic skin can you imagine having a carnage like that with blaze like that on your collection that would be super cool and little you know uh, this guy has nothing this is just a, a, a picture of a toy that i found his guy has nothing but we can do something little you know like something very subtle coming out over here over here something like that and we can get that working like this other guy you see. We can do this. Hot Toys can do this. Can you, Hot Toys? Yeah, you, of course you can. So can you please give us a carnage if we ever get this movie release? Thank you so much. We are going to thank you from the bottom of our hearts because I believe that you as well watching this want a carnage in your collection. Don't you? Bet you do. So... Moving on to number four. And number four is going to be Sif. Now, Sif has been in uh, uh, a couple of movies for Thor. And um, she's, she's a great character. And she's a beautiful lady for sure. And yeah, but anyways, all jokes aside, I would love to have a Sif figure in my collection i mean i like the outfit i like how she looks she's beautiful she's gorgeous how the hell you change uh this for natalie portman i don't know natalie portman is also beautiful but she's like five foot two there's nothing wrong with that i'm getting in dangerous territory over here and getting out of topic so sith can we please get a figure of sith i would love to have a figure of sith in my collection she looks freaking amazing her outfit is amazing. She's a great character. And yes, I want a Sith in my collection. But I don't think we are going to ever get her. So, yeah. Sad days. The realization that the things that you want cannot be. Anyways, we're going to have to contemplate her from the other side of the screen. And not in our collections. And uh, hopefully in the future, Hot Toys will realize the error of their ways and they will release a Sif to us, to the public, so we can post her next to Thor in our Thor collection. And those will be happy days. Anyways, moving on out of Sif and on to number three. And number three is no other than Venom. And man, oh man, who doesn't want a proper Venom in his collection? Not this guy. This I don't want you. I I thought this Venom was terrible, in my opinion. I I think it was. I thought it was too skinny. I didn't like him at all. I thought Spider-Man Three is one of the worst Spider-Man, if not the worst Spider-Man that there are out there. I mean, I like the Amazing Spider-Man better than this one. I think this movie was just completely terrible. I don't. I don't. I didn't like it at all. Sorry, if you're a big fan of this movie, I really wasn't. And one of the main things is because they didn't get Venom right. He was just, she was just horrible. But anyways, we all know that Tom Hardy is doing a Venom. Hopefully, they will do him. Uh, they will do justice for this Venom, and I would love to have a figure for that Venom. I mean, look at how massive 
Venom actually is. And that is the figure that I want from Hot Toys. So like super bulky, massive Venom. That is what I want. With a freaking tongue that doesn't fit in his mouth. You know? I want that. Can you please, Hollywood, get that right? Because you didn't get it right last time. I couldn't see Venom stomach in the entire movie. It was just, it was just ridiculous. ridiculous. I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. This is how I want to see a Venom. This is how I want at least one, if not the one. If, the, if you only give me one, then give me this one. If you give me two, give me a closed mouth if you want, or a slightly closed or whatever. But I want these head sculpt with the tongue sticking out of his big ass mouth. That is the Venom that I want. So yeah, that is my number three. And for number three, we go to number two. And the number two figure that I want from Hot Toys is Black Cat. And man, oh man, is Black Cat says, God damn. I had, I, had, I had so much trouble finding pictures that she was not like extremely, extremely sexy to put on this video. Because it, when you Google Black Cat, all the pictures they show there are like ridiculously sexy. Even this one, this one, this one is subtle, believe it or not, but that's how the character is. And I love it. it I think it's pretty <laughs> brilliant. It is freaking amazing. And I would love to have a black cat in my collection because of the, you know, like I said earlier, the, the, the black and silver movie, silver and black that they're talking about. And can you imagine having a black cat in your collection, this is uh, a statue from Tai Show, and this is from the comics. And this is whoa, this is getting heavy. And back to the Tai Show, which is um, more like a you know safe grounds. And here you have her, you know, being her, just stealing stuff, and Deadpool, Spider Man on the back. And I really like this shot. It's just. A really nice shot and uh so yeah i want black cat in my collection what do you think do you want your own black cat in your collection let me know i would like to know i'm sure it's a resounding yes but i would like to know and hopefully we get that movie that nobody asks for and nobody wants but if we do get it and hopefully hot toy is going to jump on board and do a figure and at least we can get something out of this movie so yeah black cat is the number two and coming in a number one it is the one and only ruler of the dark dimension domamu domamu i have come to bargain and this what you see here on your screen right now it is the domamu that i want do not give me this. This is not the mom. I love Doctor Strange. It is one thing that I want to critique out of Doctor Strange is the look of the mom. Why in the world did you change how he looked? Because you wanted to appeal to younger audiences because he looks like, I don't know, the devil here or I don't know. I don't, I don't know why they changed his appearance. I don't know why they did, but I, I'm not too... I was not too keen on that. I, I, I was looking at some concert arc. Even this, it looks nothing like him. I, I would have liked this. Is this is really looking cool, uh, though, Mamo? And I would I would have taken this over this, but we didn't get it. We did. We get this thing, and this is some other concert arc that I was looking at as well. And it looks pretty freaking brilliant. And I will take it over the the one that we got on the movie as well. Sadly, we didn't. We did. we got that purple thing, and we didn't get the the Dormammu that we all uh, know and love. But hopefully, one day in the future, when some other uh, Doctor Strange movie comes out, when another big movie comes out, and we need a villain, and Dormammu comes back, they change his appearance. They said that. Dormammu's didn't have an appearance and that's why he looks like Doctor Strange himself like that is the face of Benedict and uh, But hopefully he will reveal himself like when 
Benedict, like Doctor Strange himself, like right, when he gets a better understanding of how everything works, of you know the the, the realms and all that stuff, it, it, he can get the real self, uh, the real Dormammu. Hopefully, something like this is what we're gonna see, what we have on the screen right here, because this, this is the war, the Dormammu that I want on my collection. And now that I have the Ghost Rider, the new Ghost Rider they just released, the uh, Robbie Reyes. I see what they can do with fire, how they can put off a uh, plastic fire. It, it looked freaking amazing. I think they can pull out a Dormammu really, really easily. They will do it blindfolded. They, they already done it already on Ghost Rider, so they just have to redo what they have done, and we'll get our brilliant Dormammu. But before, MCU has to get his check together and get the Dormammu that we like, get him how we like it. So can Hot Toys go ahead and do other Dormammu for us if they feel like it? Because again, Dormammu is a villain. So what do you think? What do you think about the list? Uh, are we getting any of this? Are we getting none of this? Too many villains? Too many? Too many speculate? Too much speculation about all this? Let me know below. I'm doing these videos to to get comments on the on the comment section. Where else would I get it? To get comments on the videos. So yeah, uh, I'm very interested and in, you know. Talking about Hot Toys, let me know what you think. What other figures are you expecting, even if, even if they're not from Marvel, any other universe, Star Wars, DC, anything you like. What would you like to see from Hot Toys? Why have your heart been broken by something that you couldn't get or you know you're never going to get and that you really, really want on your collection? So I was having fun with these videos and maybe if they are well accepted by you guys, maybe I'll do some more. Let me know if you guys like them. And as I always say, um, you know, don't be around. Don't be a, don't be around. Don't be a stranger on the channel. Be around.